Hello, this is Jeff Nowell for Selective Imagery. Welcome to Nikon Z9 Firmware 2.1 Results with Small Birds. I'll start by saying that I did do testing um, with this firmware at first with birds in flight. And some of the issues that I've had is where um, it just bounces off the eye or in 3D tracking or on a bird and it jumps to the background even though the background may be fairly far away. Or with a bird that's pretty much static if it has a reflection in the water the autofocus point may jump to the reflection rather than stay on the actual bird. Well those are really problems of the past now. I have not had the autofocus point focus on a reflection and providing that you have definitively locked on to your subject in flight before you engage 3D tracking I have not have I have not had it leave the bird and go to the background yet. The few cases where it has I've surmised that I switched from wide area large to 3D tracking mode before I really had locked on to the subject well enough to make that switch, so more operator error. So in this video, um, I've had issues where, uh, or had issues where a bird would be on a branch and there might be another branch above its head and the camera wouldn't autofocus on the bird no matter what mode I selected, single point, uh, dynamic range, wide area large, wide area medium, it didn't matter, it wasn't going to focus. So I had to help it out by manually focusing and then being able to switch over uh, to an automatic mode and then take the shot. So I'm going to show you pictures that I took with my Nikon Z9 with the 500PF all shot at f5.6 wide open so there's no misinterpretation that oh it looks sharp because I was shooting at f11 all wide open and I will talk about these pictures as we go through them and hopefully you will uh, agree uh, that the results speak for themselves and I'll tell you that I think the autofocus uh, tweaks in this version have made a huge difference and as many people say, I don't care what camera brand you have, none of the systems are foolproof, none of the systems are perfect. You are going to have an occasional autofocus shot. You're going to occasionally have a scenario where you might have to manually focus, and we'll talk about that on one shot, one series of shots in particular. So let us begin. So this is a shot that I took when I was at version 2.0 and believe it or not I was at a slightly different angle with a few more branches in view and you can see that it is a busy background and it just wouldn't focus on this bird so I was lucky enough to be able to walk around and change my angle and uh, was able to pick it up but I still had to grab it in manual focus first and then switch over to an automatic mode and it was very frustrating. I didn't feel that this was the type of shot that it should not have been able to latch onto right away and just work. Thankfully, it now does. So we will go to the next shot. This is a shot that may have caused a problem before with the arched branch over the head. It may have gotten confused. No problem this time. Uh, looking at the same bird. Um, basically shooting wide area large once I once it grabs onto the bird I'd switch it to 3d tracking and it would pick up on the eye and uh, follow it around and I would take the shot uh, so you got various uh, backgrounds here with different kinds of birds with different size eyes and I think you could tell from these pictures that it grabbed onto the bird extremely well and here's one that's always hard a straight on shot very sharp all these are at um, f5.6 wide open with the 500 pf and uh, i have no complaints whatsoever none at all now eventually i'm going to come to a series of photos that i'm going to have to explain because 
that's where things get really difficult and I think it would be really difficult for any brand of camera. Um, but like I said, for shots that I know, uh, some of them would have caused an issue. I had no issues this time with the firmware upgrade. Um, very happy with it. And obviously these are not, you know, all award-winning shots by any means, but I was just trying to go out quick, get some samples of, of birds with different backgrounds and different branches and different degrees of, uh, of backgrounds to try to really put this thing to the test. And I, and I feel that I did. I mean, um, I mean, this is real life shooting. Um, this, this is what everybody's going to run into. And these were in Myrtle Beach State Park. They have uh, basically a feeder station. And uh, I make a point of going there every once in a while when I want some small bird pictures, but I don't take them at the feeder. I take them when they land on trees uh, in the surrounding area. Uh, some trees are close to the feeders, some trees are not so close. So I, I get them in a lot of different uh, settings. And I love uh, titmouse. I mean, I, they're, they're really cute birds. I really like them a lot. One of my favorite small birds. Straight on shot once again. Blue Jay made an appearance that always scares off everybody else. They're like the bullies in the neighborhood. Now here's where things get difficult. You can tell this is a full frame shot of a painted bunting and you can see it's surrounded. Here I crop the image so you can see how sharp the bird is. Now I took multiple pictures of this bird um, from different vantage points. I'm shooting up into the tree. I mean it's, it's such a narrow area where I could even see it with the naked eye. And now here's where a uh, few times I was able to grab it with single point autofocus and take the shot. There were other times, depending on where I was positioned, where I had to manually focus to uh, get it close enough where I could lock onto it with autofocus and then switch to 3D tracking on the eye and take some pictures. But I d did succeed in getting pictures that I like very much. But this is kind of the worst case scenario and you can still get good shots. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends and make a comment. Until then, enjoy life, capture some of it, and we'll see you next time.